Body drop all the time, I don't feel nothing Swear the guy yeah, gon' make me go kill something Told my shooter no mercy or chill, but I done been through so much I don't feel nothing I was done off the drugs, I made too dead I was locked in myself, I to lose it They be watching me, clocking my movement They be Yo, this is your boy Vexies, and today in this video, I'm going to show you a few professional tips that you can use while playing on the alternate control scheme. So let's get straight to it. First, the thing I'm going to show you guys is how to get to spots faster than default players. And it's not really just default players, just, it's just how to get to spots faster. So this um is very good to use when you're using the initials and you know how the map is looking like. You know like where everybody is on the map off the rip, and you won't get caught like, see, like by anybody hiding on the map or anywhere. So that's one thing I want to tell you guys off rip that if you do this, then you're not going to be as aware as you would be if it was like, you know what I mean, like mid-round, you know? And you could get caught off guard by somebody hiding around the corner that you're sliding into. So let's get this, um, this done real quick. All right. All you're doing right here is you're holding your X button down, right? To initialize the roadie run and you're spamming your A button a little bit in order to like, to once you get into that range where you can cover slide, it automatically takes that cover from a long distance it's the max distance that you can take it in the game this is a very helpful because default players they have to guess that on their own or they will roll into the wall and they cannot press their a button while already pressing their a button if you know what i mean <laughs> because they use a the roadie run they cannot like tap it at the same time already running in order to grab the distance i mean to grab the wall at the max distance so that's something that also the players that you guys should use and you can get to spots faster. Often it gets very annoying when you notice that also the player gets to um, their home hill like with spot protection still. And that's just something that only they can do because they're automatically going to get the max slide distance that they do what I said just now. The second thing that you should incorporate in your alternate gameplay is just having sporadic movement. So having sp sporadic movement is basically just meaning like unpredictable. And it's very hard to hit, like when you're adding in everything that's involved in the game, like the three movements of, I mean, the three ways of moving around a map, which is walking, roadie running, strafing, and wall bouncing, you know? So if you're adding all four of those together, particularly like roadie running, because it's a lot more easy, um, it looks very, very clean, and you will catch your opponents off a lot by just slowing yourself down sometimes. To, you know what I mean? Just just change how you look, just change how your character looks. Don't, don't do a predictable wall bounce or anything, you know? So. That's just a very, very simple tip that you guys can start doing is just roadie running a lot more when you're strafing because it looks very crazy, guys. And I'm not really sure if you guys like, noticed anything, but usually like alternate players have the most abusive cutbacks in the game because it's so like it's so quick. Like, they're up here around the corner and they cut back instantly and it's like you're dead, you know? So just try to add those like that to your, you know, your little arsenal of moves. Um, make sure you mix it up. Now the third thing, which I'm pretty sure everybody wants to know about, is the wall bouncing your alternate. A wall bouncing on alternate is not as hard as people think. They're just like most people, they just have a bad wall bouncing on alternate because they try to spam their A button way too much. So, I'm gonna give you a few tips on what to do when you're trying to wall bounce on alternate and how to get the smoothest movement out of it. So, naturally, wall bounce on alternate is not always gonna be the smoothest thing, okay? Uh, other people's screens, it looks like you're doing like like crazy stuff and it looks like very smooth, but your screen is not always gonna look, you know, like, like as smooth as you want it to look. So, just keep that in mind at the same time, okay? All right, number one, the, the biggest thing I can give you guys is to try to center yourself between the walls that you want to hit a lot more than you already do. All right, having like a, um, a nice, like direct point of focus and, and right, right between, between the two walls that you want to hit or the three walls, whatever, is it's just the best thing to have, you know? Like you're able to go back and forth very smoothly and then make sure that you're timing your A button like with the wall bouncing. Because now, yeah, sometimes you're not going to hit the wall, not only because you're too far, but it's because you're spamming the A button too much. And it's like, it's like your character doesn't know how to react to it, you know what I mean? Like the game doesn't know how to react to it, so. Just make sure you time it. It's very simple, just time it between the walls. Um, move your, your left and right stick simultaneously. Like your right stick should be going like, like left and right, while your left stick should be going uh, forward. Like forward, but like it should have like a little bit of, of left and right in it as well. All right, so the main thing you want to be focusing on um, when wall bouncing is not only centering it, not only um, Moving both of the sticks, like left and right, a little bit. I mean, your left stick a little bit and the right stick a little bit, but it's to not be spamming your A button, okay? And the easiest way for you guys to learn how to do it on your own is to start off slow. Um, a lot of people they try to expect instant results by speeding up their wall bouncing a l like way too much, where it becomes where like you're getting stuck and your character is not moving at all, okay? So just go slow at first. Actually try to get a feel for it, like move by move. That's what I did to get to this point. It only took me a week. And you will literally, like, achieve the, the greatest movement ever, alright? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for your boy. 
And I will see you guys in the next one. And I will also be making a alternate wall bounce tutorial so I can get a lot more into the specifics on how to use the movement system while on alternate. Alright, so peace out, y'all.